Alright everyone, so today I'm going to be doing an unboxing of the Elves box by Sophie and Toffee. This is one of the first boxes I actually got. I have quite a few boxes that I want to show you guys. I have not worked on any of them. I have not done any of the projects. Um, so I will be doing those projects and showing you guys them as I work through them. But I th finally, like, kind of have my feet underneath me so I'm ready to record again I think and so I thought I would start with this because these boxes are so fun and I really enjoy getting them. They come from the Philippines if you're not familiar with these boxes. Um, it is mostly a resin craft box but you know the supplies are kind of universal and you can use them in other crafting um, projects and stuff like that so but yes this is the base idea is that all of the items can be used in a resin um, project so whether that be a UV resin or a two-part cure time resin or something of that nature so I do have a UV light uh, most of the resin that you get in here that I've noticed has been UV resin um, I've opened the boxes I've gone through them but they're all pretty much just been like ogled and then put back in the box and pretty much forgotten about. Um, so yeah, I believe this is the March 2018 box, but the um, there's a paper in there and it will explain everything. So this is it open. So I'll go ahead and throw away the foam. And if you are interested in doing the elf box, um, by Sophie and Toffee. When you get your box, if you share your goodies on social media with their hashtags, one is the Elves Box and hashtag Sophie and Toffee Club, um, then you know you can be put in for a free box. So this is the March Elves Box. It's the Sakura Spring. What will you be making? So the main project is a flower heart trinket box. I do like that they give you the idea of what you're supposed to be making but then they give you a bunch of added extras so you can like other goodies and then um, they have ideas and inspiration but honestly they have more than just these three people that do videos on these boxes so you know check look up the Sophie and Toffee box and get an idea of it so Alright, so sorry about that. I actually had to go eat dinner, but I am back. Um, so what I did while I was coming, or uh, while I was gone there too, is I also wrote down about roughly how much this box is worth with all these items inside. Um, there is a, an item in here that I had to do a little bit of research on and I will explain what I was able to find. Um, so I'm just going to go through the different items and I'll talk about how about how much it would have cost um, if you were to buy these items individually because all but the one item is available online. There are a few items that are sold out currently like the resin and the bezels but there is a kit that you can buy that is very similar to this one on their website that is available. So, um, yeah. Let's go ahead and dive right in. So we've got, I'm going to start with this little item here. These are um, real pressed flowers and there are 10 in the bag and these retail for $3.20. I'll go with these two guys here. So I have two Sophie and Toffee pigment dyed transparent clear in both pink and purple here. And there's the, the color. So it's kind of like a bright fluorescent purple and a really deep pretty purple there. So that's nice. Um, and those are safe to use in rag resin. And those colors, um, each bottle retails for $3.20 a piece. So we've got two of those. 
Then we've got these two guys. I'm going to pull them out together because they are both bookmarks. They are secure themed um, bookmarks. Uh, it is a gold medal. Very simple. And these retail for $2.32 a piece. Now these are added on. If I remember correctly, this box actually came kind of late. And so they threw in a bunch of extras this month. And that was the reason why we got those bookmarks. And I think this spoon. Yeah. If I remember correctly, don't 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 quote me on that. So then we've got a two-part um, resin here, epoxy resin, and it is a two-to-one ratio. So part A is the bigger bottle, and part B is the littler bottle. Obviously, you would do, you know, if you're going to do uh, a milliliter of the part B, you need to do two milliliters of the part A, and this would cure over time. Um, and it says here that it cures in 6 to 12 hours, cures with less bubbles, and ideal for small projects. So this is 90 grams, I believe is what it says. Yes, it's, it's, they're 90 grams total. And this retails for uh, $6.67. Then we have this here. And this is Silver AB Rhinestone Chain. Ooh, excuse me, uh, rhinestone chain. I've got the hiccups, I apologize. Um, which is great for decorating. Beautiful. Super, super pretty. And this retails for 386, and I forget how many meters you get with that, but um, it's, a, it's a fair bit amount. I think the packaging is open. It is. The packaging is a little bit open over here. So I don't know if you can see that, but it is. Um, and these are open bezel charms. So, and these, there are 12 of them total. So I'm going to go ahead and open them so I can show them to you. And the packaging is open. I just ripped them off. So it looks like we got a little petal there, a little double one, a single. This one actually has the uh, loop on it so you can use it as an extra charm. Then we have the circular one. Then we have this long one. It's like kind of like a cherry blossom chain. There's this one where you can actually hang a bit on it. This one's pretty with the moon. And the sakura flower. Crescent moon, I like that. Smaller one of those. Tiny little guy. That'd be a pretty necklace. And then just... Another plain open charm there. And then this one's really pretty for a dangly. So that's all 12 of those open bezels. Oh, and those bezels uh, retailed for five sixty-three uh, for the twelve pack. Next, we have this guy. It's an extra mold, and it is not listed on here. So it is a Sakura floral mold. Let's see if I can give you. There are a couple of diff they're different sizes. So basically what it is, is one is recessed. Like this one, so you can make a whole Sakura flower. And this one is so that you can make kind of like coins, but have the recessed bit be around the Sakura flower. 
So that's pretty. And I don't know if these are supposed to fit into each other or not. It's not. It doesn't want to. seat into each other so I don't think they're meant to go together but I could be wrong so who knows but yeah they're nice little molds now I did see those on the website but I didn't write them down um, so I will have to see about adding that price a little later. Next we have this guy here which is a bunch of um, semi-transparent almost paper uh, cherry blossom or sakura flowers. Beautiful. Love that cherry blossom color. And these Stickers retail for three thirty, and this guy. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that out of there. This guy. So this guy's no longer available on the website. I don't know if it ever was available on the website, um, but it is absolutely stunning. And I don't know if I would ever use this with resin. Um, I might see how this washes up and just use it for like tea or something like that. Um, I do drink tea every morning with my breakfast, so um, yeah, this would be really nice. And I actually had to do some math with this, so I was able to find these on Amazon in an eight pack, all with different floral designs, but all of them basically like a variant of a cherry blossom. And they retailed for roughly anywhere from 12 I've seen them as cheap as like $8.50, so I took the average of that about $10. And I um, divided that by 8 so they're about $1.25 a piece. So. And then the main item for this box, the thing that actually makes the, the, pro the plan project is this guy and this is the actual heart trinket box silicone mold and this guy retails for $10.34 for the mold so that's pretty hefty for a mold I think it's I mean but this is a very big mold and I don't actually buy resin molds I've never bought one in the past individually so I'm not exactly sure if that's a really good price or what um but yeah so basically what you do is you pour the resin here till it fills up and then comes up and above like so and very and similar side all over here and so when you would put the two resin pieces together after a little bit of sanding and a little bit of finessing they would then sit together as a trinket box as a really pretty trinket box and you'd be able to decorate each of the boxes I've seen some really pretty ones I saw like a beach theme I did see the the cherry blossom theme I've seen um, like a glitter gradient using the pigments and some glitter the person owned and I've seen some really great ideas with these and I, I am interested in actually trying and making one of these so I have a birthday for a little four-year-old little girl coming up next week so I might make her something I know her birthday party is themed unicorn and it's at a bounce house at the next town over so um, I might actually see what I can make, especially since these colors are like spot on for a unicorn mold. So, um, yeah, I might see what I can do. I'm not making any promises, but it's 
we'll see what happens. So, uh, but yeah. Um, let me figure out how much this mold was, and then I will come back with the total price versus how much I actually paid to have this shipped to me here in the U.S. I am in the Pacific Northwest, and more specifically in Washington State, um, and I paid $35 for this box. Um, so let me go ahead and figure out this price point, and we'll see if this month was worth ordering it. So these molds, these two molds here, sell for $9.90. So definitely the molds are way, way more on the expensive end. So I'm just going to do some quick maths here. Alright, so doing the math from both sides of the page, this box is actually worth, if you were to buy it, to have it shipped before shipping, You'd be paying five fifty-five nineteenth for everything in this box to get it to your door before shipping, and that thirty-five dollars that I paid got it to my got it to my house. That covered shipping and everything. So, so far, just this one month, and I knew it had before because I'd seen a couple of other like different monthly boxes where it'd been like forty-five dollars, and you know. 50 something dollars so like this just reiterated to me why I've done why I've been buying these boxes it doesn't explain why I haven't actually played with the boxes but I'm actually saving 2019 $20.19 in American to get this box. That's a huge savings. That's essentially getting like these molds free. Seriously. That's that's it's pretty cool. So um, again, if you are interested in the Sophie and Toffee, definitely go over to the website and you can get it yourself. Um, they are not paying me to show you this box. This is me paying for it myself and just being like, ooh, I really like these new craft items and trying to share them with you guys. Um, again, it does come from the Philippines, so there is kind of a wait time. So, like, we're in the middle of February and I still haven't received my February box, but they haven't even shipped the February box yet. Um, in fact, I think I just got... Yes, I did actually. Just got my January box not too long ago. So, uh, which I will review for you guys in a later time. Um, but yeah, I'm definitely going to try and make the trinket box. And I will record that for you guys to show you how successful I am or am not. And until next time, guys, I will see you later. Bye!